strap. Earlier, this one, this is very completely wrong. This is have been designed by somebody who do not decrap. People, they land with the crab, then they grab after landing. That's exactly what they say. They, they touch the ground, and then they decrab. It's not true. The decrabbing action is here. Before to touch, not after touching. After touching, you already touch the ground with the crab. You already create a lateral forces on the gear. Gear must be the direction of the runway, and not like this. Boom. Did you understand my point? Yeah, I understood. Huh? Yes. The wheels must be in the direction of the runway. Right. Uh, on center line, or even left or right of the center line, but in the direction of the runway. The wheel will turn normally in the direction of the runway. If they are in that direction, they will not be to turn normally. Mm -hmm. So the people, they touch and then they degrab. That's exactly what they show here. He's on the ground. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to degrab here. Yeah. Before to touch. So you flare, get the power, you continue down, you are about to touch, decrab. About to touch, which is almost 10 feet above. Yeah. When you hear 10, now it's time to apply a rudder. But apply a rudder, move rudder in, guys. Mm. Not the small things like that, it's nothing. Just move. Bring, bring the nose back to center line. Mm. Very important. Once again, doing this to create lift on the opposite run. No. Why? Because of the protection. Flight control computer will maintain wings level. The people, they scare about that because they don't know the flight control computer will maintain wings level. Okay? Yeah. But be careful. That flight control computer can do the job correctly until Only 20 knots. 20 knots. It's beyond that. We have to give beyond 20 knots. Yeah. You cannot do on auto land right. because it's limited to 20 knots, and it is limited to 20 knots because of those limitations oh, okay. of the flight control oh, computers. Everybody knows that the auto land is limited to 20 knots.